Hello, my name is Jane and I'm a PhD student in the School of Medicine here in UCD. It seems all we hear about these days is cancer. Why is that? Well, it affects a lot of us. One in two people will be diagnosed with some sort of cancer in their lifetime. When I tell people that I'm working on cancer, they usually say, oh, Roaching Down the Road was diagnosed last week. Or, oh, my poor Uncle Liam had cancer. God love him. Through personal experiences, I have also become aware of the impact that cancer has on patients and their families. But did you know that cancer doesn't affect just us? Cats get cancer too. In fact, one in five cats will develop some sort of cancer in their lifetime. So what actually is cancer? Cancer is when cells grow out of control. The cells don't die, they become abnormal and grow and grow. Triple negative breast cancer is a very aggressive type of breast cancer, often seen in younger women. As it grows, it moves and spreads around the body, making it very difficult to treat. We know very little about how exactly this aggressive cancer moves and spreads. Just like humans, cats naturally develop an almost identical disease, and they too face limited treatment options. So this makes me ask myself, how can my research help? The aim of my research is to develop a blood test. The test will predict whether cancer is likely to spread before it becomes visible on scans. Because of the similarity between this cancer in cats and humans, it means that we're working to benefit both. Just to be clear, my research is not giving cats cancer. By working with human and veterinary doctors, I collect very small amounts of blood from women and cats with breast cancer. We collect samples that have already been taken as part of their usual appointments, which would be thrown away otherwise. I study these samples carefully in the lab, looking for signs in the blood which indicate that the cancer is likely to spread. So far, I have shown that these signs, known as biomarkers, are capable of signposting the movement of cancer cells around the body of women and cats. Hopefully, this research will stop cancer in its tracks, helping not only cats and people like Roisin down the road, but also the 250 other women who will be diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer this year. Thank you.